Hey there, welcome back to a little unboxing video, unpackaging video. It's not really a box, it's a package, as you can see right here. And uh, just a quick little update, too. There's a few things I got a while back that I didn't really get around to showing you guys yet. And I thought this would be a good thing to do, uh, do a little unpackaging uh, of uh, gifts sent, sent to me by Travis. He sent me a few things before. Uh, there was a couple of things he was he was getting rid of, and he asked me if I wanted them, and I was like, sure. And uh, there was also uh, another gift from Mr. Anonymous. Uh, you know who you are, um, and thank you very much. And uh, I to Mr. Anonymous, I will, because uh, it was part of a trade, so I will hopefully get that get your package shipped out by tomorrow um, still working on some few things still working on uh, burning a few things getting a few more uh, movies in there and, and so on anyway let's get started shall we um, we have this first package from Travis and Let's see, let's see if I can open this without scissors or not. I may need to get some scissors, but I don't really have any right now, so I'm trying to see if I can maybe. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. That's cool. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. Okay. Well, he told me about. Oh. Oh, huh, well, I didn't know about that one. That's pretty cool. Anyway, he sent me, he told me about this one. Dino Riders, Volume 2. Which for me, this is really cool. And I, I, I mean, I love Dino Riders. I have the first VHS, and I'm definitely glad to have the second one. So thank you, Travis. Thank you so much for Dino Riders. The Adventure Continues, Volume 2. Harness the Power. Dino Riders really should have been a bigger thing than it was. It really should have. Absolutely should have. And it seems okay, so he also So he also sent me this, which I was not expecting this. Computer Warriors. The adventure begins. Now Computer Warriors, I guess, is another sort of tie-in animated movie. Uh, little cartoon based on some of these other toys by Mattel. I remember hearing about these. I know the most famous, the most popular one was the one that was shaped like a Pepsi can. So there's actually a cartoon. So that will actually be pretty fun to watch. And definitely worthy addition to my collection. Thank you, Travis. And he sent me this. A sci-fi magazine. Because, yes, back in the day when Sci-Fi Channel was... S C I F I, you know, actual science fiction and wasn't S Y F Y, they had their own magazine. And I have a few of these that I got from a thrift store. So this is really cool. This one talks about the Lost World and, and Batman and Robin and Batman and Robin, but also talks about the fifth element. And there's this pretty cool little uh fold out thing about uh, some VHS. I mean Dune, the the widescreen collector's edition for fourteen ninety nine. That's a pretty good deal. So thanks. I'll definitely give this a look. I like I like uh, stuff like this. This is kind of like kind of like Starlog. Uh, yeah, do the Batmobile, uh, Batman and Robin. Uh, yeah. What is that? See, what is he doing here? What the hell is Batman doing here? He's like. What is he? What does he, he think he is? A Black Panther? Jeez. What? So, um, yeah. So, once again, thank you, Travis. This is really cool. Thanks. Thank you for the magazine, for Dino Riders Volume 2, and for Computer Warriors The Adventure Begins. Now we get to the stuff that I picked up. I'll get to the DVDs pretty soon, but I wanted to talk about these, the couple laser discs that I got. 
laser discs. I hope I said that correctly. Uh, a couple laser discs that I got at Goodwill, and they were like three bucks each, and I hadn't really seen any laser discs for sale in a lot of places, so I was like, man, I definitely want to get my hands on some more laser discs. And for the collection, and they were pretty cheap, and so I got Congo, which is uh, I, I I like this film. I think it's an underrated movie. I think it's a really fun adventure, and I'm I'm definitely glad to have this uh, in my collection. And then I also got Courage Under Fire, which I've heard about, but I've never actually seen. Sorry for the awkward edit there. My webcam kind of froze up a bit, so I had to end up uh, re-recording things. So here we go. As I was showing before, I had to start editing. Uh, this is Courage Under Fire with Meg Ryan and Denzel Washington on Laserdisc because I don't really have the film on DVD. It was $3 and widescreen edition, and that was a good addition to my collection. I also got this at the same goodwill, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, a uh, trade paperback from Marvel for about four bucks, and this is the one that's written by Kevin Smith, yeah, this is the one that's written by Kevin Smith, it collects all the issues that he wrote, it's penciled by Joe Caseta, inked by Jimmy Palmiotti, Jimmy Palmiotti, Mioati, or I don't know if I said his name correctly. And, uh, yeah, I got this because I do like Daredevil, and I've heard a, a lot of things about this particular comic, but I've never actually got around to reading it, so it was a good deal, too. And these paperbacks, I mean, this marketed around for 20 bucks when it came out, and a lot of these nowadays can be kind of even more expensive like I don't even know how, how much this particular uh, paperback goes for now it, it I wouldn't be surprised if it's some crazy price so that's uh, kind of some randomness there I just wanted to show that because it is something that I also picked up and here is the result of the trade with Mr. Anonymous and what I mean by trade it's a trade for uh, he wants some DVDs uh, and uh, I got some other stuff that I have doubles of, uh, some VHS and some uh, other stuff that I think you might like, so I'm going to send that out. I pretty much, he asked me for some DVDs, some custom DVDs and stuff, and I was like, I'd be willing to do it, you know, maybe, you know, but could we do like a trade or something? You get something off my wish list, and then... Off my Amazon wish list, and then I will uh, send you a package and stuff with some DVDs and some other stuff. And he actually agreed to do that, and I I was surprised and uh, re really very thankful for that. Um, this is the same guy who sent me a lot of really nice stuff before, and uh, if he's watching, I want to say thank you so much, not only for your friendship. But for, you know, the wonderful gifts that you got me. And thank you for helping me complete my Chuck collection. This is the last film that I really, really wanted to complete my Chuck Norris collection. And thanks to Mr. Anonymous, it's finally complete. So thank you. And like I said earlier, I'm going to hope, I'm hoping to get that package shipped out to you on tomorrow. So either Friday or Saturday, or at the latest, Monday. Because there's a few things that I'm working on, uh, adding to the package and stuff like that. Now the rest of this stuff is DVDs that I got at either at Goodwill, or Buybacks, or at Gameplay, which is a used game and DVD store. You do rentals and stuff like that. Excuse me, I'm just getting these uh, ready here. Also, ah, and there we go. <laughs> Excuse me again, because <laughs> it just dropped a bunch of shit. And then my, my webcam is sliding around too. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and it fell down again.
So excuse me for all the webcam problems. Um, the difference in because the footage before this is going to have a completely different uh, angle than the footage right here and I, I absolutely apologize usually these type of videos don't have those type of problems but uh, I had some issues with this with a computer kind of free freezing for a bit so I apologize these are DVDs that I got for free from uh, gameplay Soylent Green and got them for, for free because they don't didn't have uh, cases and uh, the discs look great they're in great condition so I could care less if it has the actual case got Monty Python and the Holy Grail the two disc special edition for free so some green which can be kind of hard to find and Monty Python and the Holy Grail two disc special edition for free I mean it's free and it's hard to find a better deal than that got this at Goodwill John Travolta and Chains of Gold, no, the, it's not a ripoff of The Fugitive. It's a completely different type of movie. This is a John Travolta film that has pretty much been forgotten about. This is a film he did like in the early 90s, and it uh, seemed like his career was kind of in a downswing. And this is the kind of stuff he was doing before he was pretty much resurrected by Quentin Tarantino with Pulp Fiction. Now... I've seen the trailer for this, and it actually looks pretty interesting, and it looks like it would be kind of a fun movie, so that's why I wanted to get it from my collection. I think I have it on VHS somewhere, but I'm definitely glad to get it on DVD. Even though it's one of those cheap DVDs that I don't even know who, I think it was Red or something, but you don't even see Red releasing on here anywhere. You don't even see the company that released this DVD. It just says DVD, and that's it. So, it's a pretty cheap DVD doesn't even have a trailer on it but um, it works it's good shape got this volcano because I really do enjoy this film and I have it in a double feature set with the towering inferno but I have the towering inferno to on blu-ray thanks to a good friend of mine so I really wanted to get this separately because I do like the film and when I do decide do decide to review it I, I definitely like to have the DVD to show you guys. So, that was pretty cheap too, so it was a good deal. Volcano. Vertical Limit. This is a dollar. It's a great deal. I, I, I haven't seen this in years. I remember liking it, but I haven't seen it in a long time. But that's why I got it because I remember liking the film. Replicant. I got this for free because it was a buy three, get, uh, get one free deal, a buybacks. This is uh, one of the other. There's only two more Van Damme films I would like to get to collect to finish my Van Damme collection, uh, The Quest, and In Hell, because Replicant was one of the ones on the list, as well as Until Death. And if you've seen the other video I did, other update, I already have Until Death. Another one I got for a dollar from uh, Buybacks, A Few Good Men, the special edition. I've heard a lot of things about this movie. I've never seen it. I've definitely heard of, you know, the, you want the truth? Yeah, I want the truth. You can't handle the truth! You know, the, the, this film is pretty much legendary, but it seems like it's a movie that was a big deal back when it came out, but do you hear people talk about this film very much? I don't, except for referencing the Jack Nicholson scene about you can't handle the truth, but... Other than that, it seems like a film that was a big deal when it came out, but kind of isn't that big of a deal now. Maybe I'm wrong. Got The Frozen Ground, which is based on a true story. Nicolas Cage and John Cusack. Money Train is a dollar. I don't. This cover art sucks. It really does. It's some really shitty cover art. And, and then it has the spine that looks exactly like the spine from the VHS. Which has the better cover art on the, I don't know if you can see it, but you know, the one with the train in the background with uh, Wesley and Woody. And then this is just looks lazy. I also got End of Watch, which I've heard a lot about but I've never seen. It's a great deal for a dollar. Running Scared, heard about, never saw it with Paul Walker. White House Down, a dollar, good deal. 
I've seen the film before and it surprised me. I like it. I think it's a fun movie. I think Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx actually did a good job together. The Sniper Collection with Snipers 1 through 4, but not Sniper 5 and not Sniper 6, which is coming out later this year. Yes, there's six Sniper movies for some reason. I have no idea why there's that many Sniper films. I do not know. Alive or Dead, some probably really shitty Lionsgate film. It was a dollar. And uh, Cursed, the unrated version, was a dollar. Mainly got it for the West Craven collection, so. And as well as another one, which I only got for because to get it for the West Craven collection, my soul to take. So. And I do need to get back on reviewing those Wes Craven films and to finish it up. And I will sometime. Sometime this summer I will. Uh, because I want to do that. There's only a few films left. And there's been numerous people have actually requested me to review the Scream films. So th when I get back on the Wes Craven marathon, it will be the Scream films. The first uh, review of a Wes Craven film in a while will be of Scream. So... Yeah, so when I review Scream, then you know that the West Craven Marathon is back. Uncle Buck, because I swore I had this DVD, but I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. It was only a dollar. And it's a great film, and I definitely wanted it in my collection. And then I also got Dave, which is a film I've heard about, but I've never seen. It's an Ivan Reitman film nobody talks about. And it actually looks like a lot of fun. And then there's a few other things that I got here, and then I will call it a video, so to speak, for the uh, update. From Paris with Love, which is, looks like a really fun movie, and heard a lot of good things about it from a good friend of mine, but never got around to seeing it. Two Guns is a dollar, so I got it mainly because it was a dollar. The Get Shorty. Two disc special edition. I've heard about this film. I've just never seen it before, and it was I got it as a part of the get five buy five get them all for ten bucks deal. I also got this as part of it, the Texture Chainsaw Massacre remake uh, two disc set. This is as you can see it says Alliance. This is one of this is a set from from Canada, but it has all the same features and everything that the other set does, including the evidence evidence thing, which this one has not been open, as you can see. So this uh, this has all the, the little bonus extra stuff here. It has like little cards. And this is the Texture Chainsaw Massacre remake. Which I reviewed before, but I actually would not mind watching again. I think I think I'll like it more when I watch it like the second time around, especially in comparison to shit like Texas Chainsaw Three Dicks. These are pretty cool, actually. Creepy, but pretty cool. And they all have this stuff on the back that shows it looks like an evidence card. Of course, the coolest one I think would probably would probably be the chainsaw. Yeah, but Leatherface is good too. Can't go wrong with that. Anyway, th that's pretty cool. There's little evidence cards. Pretty cool little feature. And. Uh, Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking set too. I mean, it looks like a chainsaw, and unfolds, and it looks even more like a chainsaw. So you got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on there. Got a good amount of features on it too. So, and then I got this for five bucks. Miami Vice season one. Heard a lot of things about the show. 
sorry about the freezing there. I heard a lot of things about the show, but I never actually got around to seeing it. So it was pretty cool to get Miami Vice. I also got season one of The Muppets, The Muppet Show. Uh, but that was a gift for my stepdad. So I don't really have it to show you guys. Anyway, that's it. Sorry for the awkward edits. Sorry about some of the freezing. Sorry about Zardoz maybe showing up and making an appearance. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned. I got more Uncovering Unsolved Mysteries I'm going to post uh, later. As well as uh, some new reviews. I'm going to be checking out Hardcore Henry pretty soon. As well as films like The Witch and uh, Captain America Civil War. So expect reviews of those. I pretty much, I'm going to get back on the 80's horror marathon. I just, there's stuff I just kind of want to, I, I'd, I'd rather just stick to stuff that I actually want to watch. And there's a lot of 2016 films, a good handful of them that I want to watch and I want to get caught up on and review those before I get back to the 80's marathon. But I'm not done. I'm actually not, I'm absolutely not done. It's just, I got three films that coming up on the marathon that I think are going to be pretty bad. So I, I admit it, I'm kind of putting it off, but there's other stuff that I really am actually generally curious about watching. And uh, I really would rather review before I get to things like City of the Walking Dead, a.k.a. Nightmare City, or Contamination, or Curse of King Tut's Tomb. But anyway, uh... I will definitely get back, get to those though. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, I will see you guys later. See you.